All the photos used here belongs to their respective owner. I or the channel does not claim any rights over them. Warning, this video contains some medical images. These are used for teaching purpose only. Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik and in this video, I will discuss about Lorenz Moon Beadle Syndrome. This is very very important topic and so many times it is asked in the NEET PG and also in various international medical examination like USMLE and PLAB examination. So what is Lorenz Moon Beadle Syndrome? This Lorenz Moon Beadle Syndrome is also known as Lorenz Moon Beadle Bart Date. These are the same disease okay so what are the characteristics we can get the characteristics are obesity number one is obesity these patients are obese patient and this patient has hypogonadism they have the feature of hypogonad hypogonad next is they have mental activity decreased they have decreased intellectual activity next is Pigmental retinitis. So when you do the ophthalmologic examination, you will find pigmental retinitis. Next is bones and the inner organs of abnormalities. So when you check the bones, you can find that the patient is having polydactylia. So what is polydactylia? Polydactylia means increase in the number of fingers. Poly means increase in the number or more in number. Dactylia means the fingers so increase in the number of fingers another thing is syndactylia syn syn means what syn means two fingers are joined together syndactylia dactylia means the fingers so the fingers are joined together there are extra number of fingers and other features now look at this picture you can see in this picture the baby is obese and second important thing you can look that the baby is having six toes six increase in the number of toes so that is polydactylia and you may also find the syndactylia in some patient that is joining of two toes or joining of two dactyles or fingers so once again what are the features of lms LMS means Lorenz Moon Syndrome. Okay, Lorenz Moon Beadle Syndrome. So in Lorenz Moon Beadle Syndrome, you get first important feature is obesity. The patient is obese. Okay, you can see the girl in the picture. She is obese. Obese patient with hypogonadism. Hypogonads. Gonads are hypogonad. And they have short stature. Okay, they have short stature. When you look at the hands of the picture uh, of the patient, you can find out that they are having increased in the number of dactyles polydactyly and also syndactyly polydactyly increase in the number of dactyles and syndactyly joining together of the dactyles and also you will find the renal problem renal abnormalities these patients sometimes they undergo renal transplantation and renal ab abnormalities also there Another thing is diabetes insipidus. These patients also have diabetes insipidus. They are diabetes insipidus patient. So another important feature is the ophthalmologic uh, examination. When you do the ophthalmologic examination, you can find out the patient is having the rod cone dystrophy. And sometimes the patient is also having central retinal degeneration retinal degeneration is also there in the central portion of the retina you will find the degeneration so central retinal degeneration along with rod cone dystrophy now look at this picture what are you seeing you can see the bones are dysmorphic here you can see how dysmorphic the bones looked in this patient when you examine the fingers and toes of this patient you can find that there are increased number of the finger so you can see polydactyly and syndactyly joining of the two fingers two toes and when you look at the teeth of this patient also you will find that sometimes crowding has taken place in certain places of the teeth and sometimes there is gap so there is abnormality in the orientation of the 
teeth also. So you can look, this is a patient of LMS. Now let me discuss about how this LMS is transferred from one generation to another. So basically it is autosomal recessive disease. Autosomal recessive disease. What does it mean? Actually it means that the both parent must be a carrier must be a carrier so the male and the female both are carrier both parents are carrier and they are having the progenies now you can see look at the picture you can see the progenies among the progenies two are the carrier child two are the carrier child so you can find out that 50 percent are carrier and only 25 percent that is one child is affected so one among the four is affected 25 percent affected and 50 percent you will find the carrier so in this fashion it is transmitted this is known as autosomal recessive fashion of transmission in in this transmission you must have the both parent as carrier and when both are carrier the progeny who has got the two affected gene that progeny will be affected now this picture you see that this boy is having obesity this boy is obese patient another thing you can notice this boy has hypogonad features that is hypogonadism you can see the secondary sexual characteristics that must be there in the boy that is less so that is hypogonadism that is also there if you can observe the fingers of this boy you can find the boy is having increased in the number of fingers so polydactyly sometimes it is also known as hexadactyly what is the meaning of hexadactyly hexa means six and dactyly means the fingers so six fingers okay another is syndactyly joining of the two fingers now let me discuss about the six cardinal signs. Six cardinal signs. These are the signs by which you can understand that this is a LMS patient. So the six cardinal signs of this Lorenz Moon Beadle patient is obesity. Number one is obesity. Number one, obesity, obese patient. Number two is atypical retinitis pigmentosa so it is not typical atypical retinitis pigmentosa second one is atypical re retinitis pigmentosa you can find it by ophthalmologic examination retinitis pigmentosa third one is mental deficiency third one is mental deficiency that means intellectual disability intellectually disabled patient fourth one is genital dystrophy I told you about it hypogonadism the patient has hypogonad number fifth is polydactyly I told you polydactyly means increase in the number of disease polydactyly and the sixth one is familial occurrence so let us revise the six cardinal signs of Lorenz Moon Beadle syndrome the six cardinal signs are number one obesity number two is atypical retinitis pigmentosa atypical retinitis pigmentosa number three is mental deficiency number four is genital dystrophy number five is polydactyly number six is familial occurrence so these are the six cardinal signs now let me show you another picture now you may ask me why are you showing me all the pictures because so many times the examiner asks you with the help of a diagram with the help of a picture so you must know the picture well so you can look the patient is having obesity number one is obesity if you can look it is obese patient next is the patient is hypogonadism patient hypogonad and number three when you look at the fingers you can find out syndactyly or polydactyly if you do the ophthalmologic examination you may find retinitis pigmentosa retinitis pigmentosa so all these are actually saying that the patient is having lms this is another picture you can see the patient is obese patient 
and you can look at the genitalia this genitalia is dysmorphic genitalia dysmorphic genitalia so it is a sign of hypogonad it is a sign of hypogonadism now you may ask me what is the treatment of this disease basically there is no cure for this disease but the patient with this disease they have experienced ataxia spasticity contracture restricting their movements and activities so to improve their lifestyle improve their life we can use multidisciplinary approach so we can use physiotherapy physical therapy psychiatric uh, consultation ophthalmologic consultation and also with the help of nutritional uh, nutritionalist to give some well balanced diet this is another picture showing various rod and cone deformities and also syndactyly polydactyly and obesity now let me discuss about the eponym and nomenclature basically it is named after two different person lawrence and moon and it was first published in 1866 lms is also known as lawrence moon bardet beadle lawrence moon beadle bardet whatever you call it another disease is there which is similar to this disease known as bbs bbs means bardet beadle syndrome which is more or less same and there is controversy that is lms same as bbs is lms different from bbs there are studies that are conducted and in different studies different result came sometimes it came that lawrence moon beadle syndrome that is lms is same as bbs that is bardell beadle syndrome so it is same or more or less you can say it is same but we don't have any proper evidence about it and the symptoms are more or less exactly same and this is the end of this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe this channel for getting many more medical videos like this and we have created separate playlist on medicine you can watch all the videos on medicine it is free of cost go to the playlist of this channel and watch all the videos on medicine watch all the videos on pathology you will learn a lot from this channel thank you so much for so much supporting and so much helping in growing our channel and please write down in the comment section below thank you have a nice day